Hey, y'all. Good morning, good morning. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. My Wi-Fi is acting kind of messed up, so hopefully we don't have any issues. But you know me and technology. You never know. You never know. And I wasn't sure if the Mevo was going to work. And it looks like it is. I had my other one set there just in case. So let me move that camera out of the way. Good morning, good morning, y'all. It's Friday. Woohoo! So we are going to do the Patriotic Kit. Um, so the Patriotic Kit comes with this amazing wood sign. This ribbon, and I had to add a little bit of glitter, right? So you get the navy glitter ribbon. You get the whole roll of the natural fabric mesh. And it comes with the ring board and the zip ties. Good morning, good morning. Um, so that's what all comes in the Patriotic Kit. Um, it is available on my website at monkeyscreations.com. Um, I did release the Dragon Kits, um, but they are sold out already. Uh, so if you miss them, I do have more coming. Just be patient. Um, they're coming. I'm expecting two or three more shipments of them. Okay? Um, so hang tight. Hang tight, hang tight. It looks like everything is working. I'm getting comments. No problems with the internet. So hopefully it fixed itself within like five minutes. <laughs> so, but it's Friday, y'all. So everybody get up, get off the couch, get out of the bed, get off the chair, put your coffee down. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Woohoo! Yay! Lord, I had a whole lot of jiggling going on there. <laughs> All right, so let me bring you down so I can show you what we're doing. So we're using the ring board for this kit. And what I have done is I've loaded every one, every other outside set of holes. Okay, um, we've cut our mesh at 21 inches. Okay, our ribbon tails are cut at 14 inches. And then I've already placed my cable mounts with the Gorilla Glue um, and my pipe cleaners. So this will kind of go right here in the middle. Um, we'll have a bow going on down here, but not so big that it covers up my sign. So we will get the sign on and then make our bow um, so that I do not cover up that beautiful sign. All right, so if y'all would float my boat, I would appreciate it. We are just going to get these out of the way. Good morning, good morning, everybody. I'm trying really hard to get all the orders out. Um, I think I have about 10 or 11 left to pack. Um, so hopefully I'll get that done before USPS and UPS show up. All right. Um, so if you order this kit today, hopefully it'll ship today. That's the goal. Oh, you sent me. I'm glad I can swim. So we're going to go ahead and get our tails ready because we're going to load our tails with our big old ruffle at the same time. You only need eight pieces of mesh because we are doing every other set of holes. So we're going to scrunch that right up the middle, get our tail ready to go in, bring them together, make sure they're kind of even pinch and now we can make our big old ruffle. Ten scrunches. <laughs> Ten 
and scrunches and we'll just put that right over our zip tie. Add our ribbon tails right on top of that. Just stab. Do you ever stab the inside between the meat and your nail? That's what I just did. Okay, just kind of tighten it a little bit and you still have, you can still adjust whatever needs adjusting if your ruffle is off. And then we can just kind of, I generally tend to take mine to the inside. And then we can just cut that off. And then you can just wrap Wrap your ruffle right around each other. Good morning, good morning. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, I have tons of tutorials on my YouTube channel. Um, so you can do this any way you like. Good morning. You can even add a set of curls on top if you wanted. You have enough, you, you have about a half a roll left to do another project or just add more to this. Um, if you wanted to put a 10 inch curl or something right on top of that, you definitely have enough mesh to do that. right on top you had to go to craft outlet <laughs> you had to get on craft girl you shopping already this morning I've been to I've been shopping I think I was on the internet at 615 this morning <laughs> what's shaking bacon You got your shirt? Yay! I really wanted it to be the polka dot, but it was alright. It worked. I should have wore it today. Wasn't it cute though? Hello from Harrisonburg. Now we only did seven sets of tails because right down here um, we're going to do the bow. So there's no sense in adding tails there. y'all doing this weekend? What you doing? What you doing? I'm prepping more kits. So I'll be working all weekend. Of course. Don't I always? Hey, hey. I am good. How are you? You're watching the grandkids, Don. I think Monk will be here this weekend. I'll let him swim in the pool. The pool's still too cold for this woman, but he doesn't mind. Grandkids are sleeping over.
you're eating. <laughs> oh, that works. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Along with a bunch of other cars, we'll be at a home and garden show. What kind of car do you have? That you're showing off. You get to bush hog your pasture. That almost sounds relaxing. Working on wreaths. Dragon kits are sold out. Um, I do have more coming. They sold out quickly, y'all. Oh, you have a 73 Corvette. Wow. We used to have a 71 Fair Lane. And we had a 60, I think it was a 68 Mustang Fastback. Oh my golly. I miss those days. Just riding a, yeah, I bet. It sounds really relaxing to me. Just put on some good music, your headphones, and see how that one's kind of off, but I didn't tighten that, so we can just pull and get it straightened out, and everything is hunky-dory. The Fastback, you remember those? Oh my God. My husband at, well, he wasn't my husband at the time, but for my wedding, our wedding, he actually had it painted white, um, redid the whole interior. Um, it was just gorgeous. Boys club, fun. Me on your daddy's tractor when you were young a few days ago. Oh, what color dragons? I've got um, purple coming, and I've got some more black and green, and I've got red coming. I got all the colors coming. I think. Sold out quicker than I thought they would, y'all. No brain work. Oh, fun. You just got your box? This seems like it took forever. If you just got it, when did I ship that? Maybe not. All my days are running together, y'all. Oh, an El Camino. My um, my father-in-law had a um. He owns a lot of property in Tennessee, and he had up at the on the top of the hill was his um his car um cemetery <laughs> so he has an amazing El Camino up there and he also has remember the gremlin jaw he had I don't know how many gremlins sitting up there um, and they're all they're actually still there somebody probably needs to go rescue them before they rust really really bad the last time I was up there they were already looking rough but still salvageable 
Your brother raced the gremlin. Carson, it really was a car cemetery. Like you could, you could find car parts for just about any kind of car up there. We actually we redid um, one of the I forget what year it was the old Trans Ams that had the eagle on the hood. Um, he redid that one and gave it to his sister. Um, I never know what came of that though. I don't know what happened to it. The good old days. This is fabric mesh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it probably should. I know a lot of people probably have all the... If I do notice it freezing, I will stop, all right? So we're going to put this last one in. I'm going to quit yapping, and we're going to hurry up and do this one before I lose, lose y'all. Right on top. Our bow is going here. You did miss the dance. I know it's freezing, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna hurry. So we're gonna add our let's find the top. That's always important. So we're going to go right here, and I'm going to work quickly. So don't get mad I'm not yapping with y'all. But I'm just going, I'll show you in just a second. So I'm just going right in the middle, right smack dab in the middle. All right, that's where I want it. I'm going to tighten it up. Our tails. So this is definitely one that will fit between two doors. Okay, we seem to be doing okay. Hopefully the internet has worked itself out. I don't know. Until I put a bow. Let's put a bow and then we'll decide if it fits between two doors. But I love that pop of blue, y'all. And the glitter ribbon just adds just a little something, something. Bring your tails over these harsh edges and that will calm them down a little bit. Up. 
so it's not such a harsh corner. Okay, the bow's going there. Pretty and simple, right? All right, so that's what we have. I can bring up this mesh a little bit. And let's make a bow. Let me see, our bow is gonna go here. So I don't want anything like way over big um, because I don't want to cover up our our wording if that makes sense so let me see let me see so you still have all of this mesh left I'm not going to do our typical, let's just do, let's do this on the bottom, where's my, where's my spool holder, anybody know? <laughs> there it is. What does the sign say? America, God shed his grace on thee. Um, it is fabric mesh. Fabric mesh is what comes in the kit. So I'm thinking we're just going to do two loops on each side of each color. Still doing six inches, I think. Now you don't use a whole, I still haven't found my scissors. You don't use a whole roll. Um, this one was a partial from when I did the eagle the other day. Um, so you do get the whole roll of each of these, all right? So you're not using, um, you'll have more left over than I do. This was just a partial roll. Yes, this one is a kit. It is available on my website, monkeyscreations.com. So we're not going to have like a big bow like I typically would, but if you wanted to add extra tails, you could. Um, I'm not going to, but you could. Let's make this five inch. Oh my God, that's so pretty, y'all. And this is the glitter ribbon that does not get glitter everywhere. It is. Can y'all see how fabulous that is? And it's navy. It is just gorgeousness. 
Look y'all, I'm putting the ribbon up. <laughs> All right, at least my internet's worked itself out. So we're good. Just like that. Severe thunderstorms in part. Are we? I know we got some, not last night, the night before it came through. I only know when I look up at the sky. Because <laughs> I don't watch regular TV, y'all, so I don't know. And then this one will bring this way. Okay, so just a bunch of crisscrosses. Hail and tornadoes. So I'm just putting this right over the zip ties that's already there. So right over the zip tie where we put no tails. Ribbon just hit me in the head. That scares you, Yorkie. Aww. I have it made. My dogs are not scared of storms, thank goodness. Isn't it pretty? Pretty and simple. blue y'all 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 <laughs> okay so I'm trying to move these around to where you can still see all the words and I think you'll be able to win I looked it up and look at it face on so you can still see all of the wording It looks like it's covering up when it's laid down, but I promise y'all, it won't. Now, if you want to add more ribbon tails, you most definitely could. You have enough ribbon um, to do that. Hey, hey. <laughs> Even Canadians can love a pretty wreath. <laughs> purdy is purdy. The mesh was cut at 21 inches. You need eight pieces. You need seven tails cut at 14 inches and then a bow.
tails if you want. There you go. Simple. If you don't like all of this mesh showing, just bring your tails down a little bit more, like make a complete X with them. See how I'm doing that? And that will cover up more of the mesh if you're not a fan of the mesh showing. Now you have more of the mesh covered. So totally up to you how you want to do it. You could even add some funky bows. Y'all know what a funky bow is? If you just, we'll just do I'll just do one to show y'all. Just do a 12 inch. So measure your 12 inch if you want to do a 6 inch loop. Scrunch right there at the 6 inch. Okay, and then take that back loop, bring it up, twist it. Bring it forward. I'll show you one here. This is my play board. Okay, we'll just go right over this one. Zip tie it in. Um, I don't know how much the kit is. It could be, but you get everything, even the zip ties. Okay, open up your loop. And then you have your tails and you have a funky bow. just like that that you could add to it. Does that make sense? And that was a 12 inch, 12 inch tail with a six inch loop. And you could do this with any ribbon even a two and a half inch if you wanted you could even do like every other um you know however you want to do that but that just makes a pretty cool just little something something all right y'all that's it there is your Patriotic kit, your simple bow, there's the back so you can see sign right in the middle, bow with an extra piece, 
<laughs> right off here to the side. These will get twisted and put right back in those holes so that it's still completely flat. And I think this would even fit between two doors, even with that bow. So there you go. You use them a lot. I love, I, you know, I, I love them. I just don't always think about them. It's not it's not one that I just use for every read, um, but I love how they look for sure. All right, recap. Kit, monkeyscreations.com. You get the ring board. You get your zip ties. You get the whole roll of mesh. Cut it at 21 inches. You need eight pieces. You need seven sets of tails. Cut at 14 inches. Don't put a set of tails where your bow is. You're just wasting a ribbon. You're not going to see it. Make your bow... And voila, there you go. How big did it come out? It is 23 inches from tip of the mesh to tip of the mesh. 23 inches. All right, that's all I got for y'all. Have an amazing weekend. And we will probably do the Dragon Kits Monday. Um, I know they're already sold out. They went quickly, y'all. I've got more coming. Um, so I'll post it when everything else gets here. Um, VIP, got nothing for you this weekend. Y'all get the weekend off. So y'all have an amazing weekend, and I'll see y'all Monday. Bye, y'all.